What is up, my fellow internet dwellers? Couch Command here, and today I'm teaching you how to fix a common Windows error. This error frequently happens whenever you're trying to restore a Game Pass game to the non-modded state. Hit that like button if this helps you. Comment on any other common modding or Windows issues you want help with, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's get into it. So there's really not a lot to fixing this issue. Basically what happened is your game has lost the ability to actually detect the license Microsoft has issued to it. To fix it, we're basically going to use some PowerShell commands to actually re-register the license. It'll make your PC, well, you'll have to restart your PC for it to actually take effect. But let's go ahead and start off. First of all, you have to be able to run as admin Windows administrator to do this. So if you don't have admin access to your PC, you're going to need to find somebody who does. First of all, you're going to hit the Windows key, go ahead and type in PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. You're going to get your PowerShell prompt over. So what you're going to do is go ahead and type in this command here, which is get AppX packages, and then you're going to loop through each app package, disable the development mode, and register and reinstall the application manifest. Uh, for basic information, this is going to go through all of your Windows applications that you've downloaded. Each Windows application, it is going to disable the development mode, and then it's going to register the application manifest that is located in the install location. I hope that made a little bit of sense. But basically, Microsoft's going to take care of it all for you. It's just a basic loop where it's going to find all the stuff for you and do it. And you're going to possibly get a couple errors in here. Normally, it's okay. It doesn't matter if you get a couple errors because it normally still successfully registers all of your packages. So you go ahead and just hit enter there. You'll notice I already have my first error down there. But in the meantime, it's actually going through and you'll see here it's registering the application manifest for a lot of my different Windows apps now. So essentially, one thing to note is basically all the games that you get off the Xbox Game Pass on your PC are all considered Windows applications. That's part of the reason that it is so difficult to mod them is because they're locked in, they're locked as Windows files basically where your normal account and even the administrator account really doesn't have access to them. Microsoft did provide these PowerShell commands that will help you with this piece here, which is really lucky because if you didn't have this, you'd basically be stuck removing the game and fully reinstalling it. And you don't want to do that when each game's like 30 to 40 gigabytes. That's just a time sink. Oh, by the way, I realized I forgot to show that, but I've been trying to get a video out for Fallout 4, just having some generic troubleshooting issues as far as getting the modding working. And the specific license issue I had was trying to play it after my most recent uninstall and reinstall. Which you'll notice right here is files, apps, mutable, Bethesda works, Fallout 4 PC, Laundry XC, no applicable license found. So that's how we got into this situation. Now that it's finished the registration, notice we are back down to the widgets of system 32. We're gonna go ahead and restart the PC. So just start, power, go ahead and click the restart button. All right, my PC just finished its restart. Now let's go ahead and confirm whether or not that fixed my issue. So let's go to the Fallout game, go ahead and click play. And if that re-registration worked right, we should get this guy right here. Notice no more error saying license not found. We can now actually go ahead and kick off the game. So whenever you're getting that Windows applicable or Windows application license missing, that's how you fix it. I hope this helps somebody because, you know, it's like a, 10 minute thing for me to figure out my first time. I'm hoping it saves you guys a little more time. Thanks for watching the video. You're welcome to message me on Twitter at CouchCommand or down in the comments if you have any other common modding or Windows issues you want some help with. Hit that like button if you found the video was useful and feel free to subscribe to get more of my weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand and you all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.